as you work through your emotional injuries, your vasectomy will be automatically restored. And you, when you get into a point of abundance with God, all of your physical body problems will be, you can heal yourself anyway. So the vasectomy itself will be healed. It certainly does impair the function, but it impairs the function more from the emotional condition than from the actual act of having the vasectomy. So, it's all, so that's why it's immeasurable from a doctor's perspective, because the emotions were present before you had the vasectomy anyway. Yes. So it's the same emotions again. So it's dealing with the emotions that cause you to want to do that, that need to be released and worked through. And once they're worked through, your body has the ability to heal that part of your body anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's something I've had to pray about. We've got about uh, repentance, about also looking at the issue of modifying my body for the sake of my own emotions. And uh, it's the same kind of thing that a woman would go through with many different things with regard to breast implants and other things like that too. You go through these kind of emotions of modifying your body. The truth actually is, ladies, that as you deal with the emotions inside of you, your breast will get to what is their designed size, if you like. All right. And if your breasts are far too large, it's, it's usually because of over-nurturing emotions. If your breasts are undersized, it's due to generally under-nurturing types of emotions. And as you work through those intergender type emotions, you'll find that your body shape will change. So, don't go out and buy a whole new wardrobe now. <laughs> no, of course you can buy them anywhere you want. <laughs> I was just going to say too that in my first marriage I, I pressured my wife into having a tubal ligation. Yep. And that's another... And hence the guilt about the vasectomy. Yeah, yeah. So it was the guilt driving the vasectomy from that pressuring. Yeah. 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 Ian, at the back, thanks. I was diagnosed with, diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer five years ago. Yep. I had surgery four years ago, yep. and uh, my PSA counts to zero, uh, so I've been cured of cancer, but I've lost my prostate. Yep. So um, I assume I'm not the same, I've got uh, some errors, I'm not going to be able to do it on the same level. Yes, certainly. So the key is to allow yourself to work through some of those areas that are to do with how you view yourself as a male, it's due to previous relationships with females and how you viewed yourself as a male. And so allow yourself to work through those particular injuries and you'll find it's to do with your mother relationship actually and how you view yourself as a result. If you can allow yourself to work through those injuries, you'll find actually your prostate will grow again and, as, and when you become a one with God, it will restore its normal function. I've got some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> and